Well, that was a very difficult act one, but we are alive. Third claw. Let's go. Oh, claw number four. I think that's peak claw. In a claw deck, you want about four copies. Look at look at this. Look at look at this. We're long overdue for a good boss relic swap on the defect. We've had lots of Sozus and Ectos and similar things lately. Give me something good. Hmm. Korea. Interesting. Korea lets us gain strength at rest sites up to three times, and boy can we ever lift here. Lift, lift, lift. Look at that. Three lifts before our first elite. Means we only fight one elite this act, unless we go this way. So I think we start with three combats and we see how we feel. We feel terrible! Ow! Oh no. Okay, not too bad. Oof, okay. Deeply terrifying. Hell yeah, equilibrium. Block and retain. Sign me up. Curse the bell. It stings! It stings. Plus twelve twenty eight. Buffer. Maybe too much block. I mean, darkness is not exactly right here either. better fights. Um, hello? Oh no. <laughs> Damage cards? What are those? Oh dear. What even are damage cards? I mean, not zero attacks. Uh, full disclosure, I did skip a streamline on floor one. That was my fault. Guess I'll take a self-repair, and uh, maybe we can win this fight? Okay, good. If this had been five gremlins, we might have actually been uh, completely ruined. Still not a great uh, turn one here. I feel like we have to play the zap. I no longer accept this outcome. Dang it. Wow, we're really bad at fights right now.
At least we have self-repair. Okay, I have to take Doom and Gloom, as hilarious as Glacier is. Because <laughs> we need damage. Even more strength. Sling of Courage says, start each elite combat with two points of strong. It's kind of wild. We'll have five strength in elite fights once we get off the ground. Sweeping beam and a card remove is pretty reasonable as well. Get rid of zap. Zap question mark. Lock Potion also really nice at 33 HP. I think the Sweeping Beam is actually going to be very good. Mm, remove the Zap. Could exactly buy a Chaos, but that feels foolish. Alright, one left. Nasty encounter here. Wow, that's uh. Whew. I'm gonna slay the spire. Has it out for me? Lord. Are you there? Uh, skip? Gross. Okay. Let's lift again, and then I'm gonna upgrade buffer rather than lifting a third time. Before we go to this elite. Sleet? Hmm. Now I wish I'd had bought the Slinger Courage. Strike. Well, actually, Chill Plus is awesome here, giving us some free Frost Orbs. Yeah, I like that. Alright, we actually gained hit points from the knob, although I did use a really, really, really powerful potion. Oh well. Yes, we have innate Chill against these nerds. Perfect. Excellent. You madman. 
Yeah, we do lose our buffer here, unfortunately. Or one of them. Die there. Ah. Terrible draw. No damage. No damage. Not bad. Get the unceasing top, which will never, ever, ever do anything. But I do like a cool headed plus for some good card draw, and you guessed it, more blocking, because apparently damage cards are not a thing in this game. Okay. We'll find a Turbo Plus, I'm, I believe. Nah, I'm not interested in any of those recursions. Although, they're actually a lot better with the... Uh, with the upgraded Chill, I suppose. attack! Although Skim plus Steam Barrier plus are uh, tempting in their own right. I feel like I should probably take the attack card. Tempting upgrade on uh, dual cast here. Otherwise we'll upgrade one of the AoEs. Plus four on the Doom and Gloom, or plus three on the Sweeping Beam? Four on the Doom and Gloom. This might be a good turn to play Buffer. Yep, that was definitely a good turn to play Buffer. Well, the good news is I'm technically alive. Ow. You know, a casual 3 HP. Like you do. That would have been nicer. Gonna defend three times. Next turn, defend buffer keeps me alive. Okay. Dark over on for now. Bopped again next turn, depending on the draws here. Hopefully we can at least evoke this one time. Oh good, yeah. Perfect. Or I can actually buffer this hit. You know what? That sounds even better. turn this will be 120 damage, that's close to a KO. 
It'd be hard to prevent chip damage next couple turns. Uh, I think I'd better just take the second point of dexterity here. Do it this way. Allowed to play that. Okay. Spooky close fight. Still have buffer. Okay, so we're good. Hit me. Well, that was a very difficult act one, but we are alive. We picked up some cards. We lifted three times, and we have wing boots. And our choice of rainbow plus, electrodynamics, or machine learning. Not upset with the machine learning here. These curses, the deck definitely appreciates more card draw. Don't really need the AoE of the electrodynamics since I have uh, two... I mean, this does 17 damage to all enemies, and this one does nine. Yeah, we'll take it. And for me, this is an easy Pandora's box. We get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight transformed cards, and any skills we take will be upgraded. Could instead take Velvet Choker, limiting us to six cards per turn. I gotta say, the extra energy would be really good. <clears throat> or uh, Inserter, giving us an Orb Slot every two turns. But this Pandora's with any number of eggs is usually very good. Yeah. Hey, Turbo Plus, happy to see ya. Claw ain't bad. Steam Barrier Plus, very good. Double Creative AIs and a Thunderstrike. Not quite what I had in mind. But we can remove some of that. Or we can get a Mummy Hand, and then we don't need to remove that. That's the other option. Boots. Almost useless, this act. We could fight this elite with them. We already saw Mummy Hand. Well, never mind. There'll be no fun today, class. No fun today. Alright, to the store. Feels important right now. Your plant man. Really, really, really appreciate this Turbo Plus. A big energy gain.
Yeah, actually. I will take another claw. Today is the day I must settle the score with the murderer of my beloved pant noodles. Hmm, right before the shop too. 70% chance going with 250 gold or 30% chance going with a lot more than that. Yeah, honestly, Faley, I think this is this is, I think it's better to bet on the murderer here cuz we'd like to have enough money to afford um a relic in the shop. For murderer, my beloved pet murderer. We win the bet. Unsure what to think? Grab the winnings, our blood money, and leave. Huh. Actually kind of love a second equilibrium here. The relics really appeal. Definitely gonna remove a uh, card, that's gonna be Thunderstrike for sure. We can go Equilibrium, card removal, maybe a potion? When's our next Elite Fight? Um, potentially right away. If I choose not to engage with combats, but I think combats are pretty good with the Toxic Egg. But yeah, we have we have no Lightning Orbs, so this Thunder Strike doesn't do anything. Which is even less than the Creative AI does. Which is almost nothing. That and focus potion's pretty good too, actually. With all this frost. I upgrading at that fire. Dual cast. Yes, dual cast. Okay, we'll go for this one. Things Birdman's. Yes, we would definitely love to see a Recycle Plus. It would let us get both get rid of the creative AIs and generate a ton of energy. That'd be really good. gaining hit points from each combat. Third claw. Let's go. A claw. Claw. Combat was actually a snake plant. We did something.
Turbo? Good enough. Stay ahead of this thing. A bad fight overall. Ooh, more energy generation in aggregate or a hologram plus to let us get claws or turbos back from the discard pile with kunai with the yeah yeah we definitely want this hologram definitely. And I like I think these potions over an explosive potion. Gonna upgrade my either self repair or one of these creative AIs. Actually, honestly, like the self repair upgrade. Could upgrade one of our claws. It's cute. Or we could even just say we don't want to upgrade anything. That's the other option. Don't like that up. Okay. Well. Cheapify a creative AI, I suppose. Kremlin Lidar. And we'll use the power potion. Or take another machine learning. Take a decent chunk here. Twelve. So, hologram for kunai and more claw scaling, or creative AI to start that happening. Let's just do the kunai thing. Let's skim first. Good boat. Perfect. Double perfect. Okay. Not a bad elite fight at all. Get the Mercury Hourglass for three damage to all enemies every turn. We get another upgraded hologram. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Appreciate y'all. Yeah, instead focus on how bad I am at Slay this player. Easy. Easy, easy. Yeah, do we Gloom? I don't think so. This feels like a fight I can take pretty defensively now that we have three claws and a kunai and two holograms. Hell yes. Easy.
Perfect, we through the void. Fusionamer Liver Ladder is alive and well, Prankster. Have not yet lost it. Standing at Ascension 14 or so right now. Oh, Claw number four. I think that's Peak Claw. In a Claw deck, you want about four copies. Look at look at this. Look at look at this. Look at these cards. That's an amazing deck. Right and then two creative AIs, because why not? Alright, I'm I'm down for Mr. Burning Elite. Got lots of health. Let's go. Boot thingy giving us Blunk on turn one, the only turn that we're vulnerable on. Book of Stabs. Taking back Turbo? Question mark? Aha! Maybe. This becomes a full block, and then I can go... Free of AI, machine learning. One energy. Almost worked the way that I wanted it to. I'd like to get the self-repair down, so that's the goal here. We can we can absolutely just kill with Electra. The question is, can we self-repair and then kill? So incoming damage, 7 times 6 is 42. We can do 18, 25. Yeah, that's a full block. We do this. Cream. Oh my. Oh. <laughs> Wait a minute. Claw plus or seek plus? Claw plus? Seek plus. Claw plus. Seek plus. Claw plus. 
No, I'm gonna take a C plus, thank you. <laughs> I don't care if Claw is law. Allow the ice cream to do some work here. Perfect. You violated the clause of your contract. <laughs> oh no. Truly the worst. Laws. can make claws, but they're bad claws. They're terrible, unfortunately. Because they don't account for claws previously played this combat. I mean, Beam Cell's pretty good here. So is a Reinforced Booty Plus. Grab that. Let's see. What's that matter? And the energy upgrade on this creative is good. I'm probably going to delete this creative AI, though. I think I want to use a Wing Boots charge for this. Let's take some events. Maybe, uh... Coliseum? Oh, Tiny Chest, of course. Every tenth claw we play is doubled in damage. I'll take that. And I get a free removal, since we have no strikes or defends remaining. Get rid of that creative AI that we didn't upgrade. And I'll use the one wing boots charge to fight these three nerds. Because I can. Try to skim for the turbo. Let's see if I cold snap will block for 14, 20. It's actually basically a full block here. Take only one. Depend on nine too. Might as well. Ooh, a singing bowl. Let's a skip cards for max HP. I don't think we need a second in H chill. Or does this compiler ever feel that good? Two max HP? Sounds grand. I guess we're upgrading the dual cast now, especially with ice cream, right? Let's go creative here. Hologram the chill for more frost orbs or something. Good too. Seek to 
Turbo Seek Hologram. So incoming damage is a million billion. This will give me another 10, 31, 33 block. Take almost nothing. Here's the resummon. Uh, this is going to be skim first, then turbo, then hologram the turbo, I believe. Death in the draw pile. Yeah, with the ice cream, we'll pretty much always play the turbo. Relatively little reason not to. Second copy of Seek Plus sure is good, but what about Echo Form letting us duplicate the first card we play each turn? What about Echo Form? Who needs Echo Form when you have Claw Hologram combos? Give me another Seek here. Still over that spot. More energy is the name of the game. The Coffee Dripper gives us one every turn, but prevents us from resting. <laughs> Wait a minute. I was like, where's my third wing boots charge? Hmm, what happened here? These nodes don't connect. What do you mean they don't connect? They're right next to each other. Come on. No! <laughs> my boots. Alright, that's fine. Got cheated there. I never I didn't even notice that when I clicked on it. <laughs> Oops. Oh well. Anyway, with self-repair, I think this coffee dripper is pretty free. Actually, nuclear battery ice cream might even be better. It's an additional energy on uh, turn one. But it's also two more of energy, energy immediately when we evoke it, and we get to keep that energy. Actually, I really like this nuclear battery. Let's take it. All right, what could we have done with one one charge of wing boots? Onto this storm? I guess it doesn't matter that much, huh? Simply useful. All right, fine, that is useful. Guest stores are okay. Energy positive until turn three, and that's if I evoke it on turn one, which sometimes will happen. Haha, <laughs> no worries, Norsum. I appreciate the bits. Whatever your reason for giving them to me might be, I really appreciate it. 
I actually don't want uh, campfires that much either, so let's try to avoid them. We can also get a tiny chest proc here. Yeah, give me another guaranteed relic. Yeah, with Chill and Seek, it will happen a reasonable portion of the time. At least. <laughs> Thank you so much for the 199. They're escalating. And max will damage. Thank you so much for the 201. It reduces. Should know that no good deed goes unpunished. Yeah, we can also seek dual cast on turn one sometimes, right? And funny man, thank you so much for the 300 bits. Who challenger appears? Oh. Not sure about second turbo here. Let's try it. We're not, er, I mean, our first opponent isn't uh, a meter. Second one could be. Program plus, lose two focus, gain two strength, gain two dex. I like that a lot. We're not getting a whole lot of use out of the orbs right now. That would make our holograms and equilibriums go a little bonkers with scaling. Distilled chaos for a relic. Meat on the bone, sure. Get a bonus shop. There's some focus. The fragment is here. Another hologram is here. Aggregate could be some serious energy generation. Hi. Fire. I just want to remove the cold snap at this point. <laughs> it's true, we get full value out of the Matrushka with tiny chest on three. Get two chests back to back, so this would be two random bonus relics, essentially, from the common or uncommon pool. this aggregate as an energy source, although it feels unnecessary with two turbos. I think Apo not worth the price of entry, in part because the Toxic Egg has upgraded so much of this deck already. I mean, count unupgraded cards. One, two, three, four, five, and this one doesn't matter, so four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight unupgraded cards. It's not worth it not worth it. I think the puzzle's great, though, for the bonus draw. Art removal's looking pretty good. Definitely taking hologram. Yeah, boom. 
I am going to that store, aren't I? Over a fire? There's no reason to. I'm a bit worried that if I take this aggregate, we end up with too much energy. Let's find out if that's the case. this enemy takes unblocked attack damage, they'll change their intent, changing up what they're going to do. This attack in particular adds a curse to your deck permanently, so that's the one to avoid. It feels really weird to skip Defragment here, but I'm doing it. Who even needs focus, am I right? So, one relic... If I had to pick any one relic that made runs the most interesting... I mean, personally, Runic Pyramid is, is gonna be one of my favorites of all time. so much for you. Pocket Watch is another good candidate. I really enjoy Pocket Watch Brimstone. It's a crazy strength game. Examples. Pandora's from the boss swap, always amazing, definitely. It's actually not what I wanted there. No. Lose all my energy or lose one buffer? Lose one buffer. Shame about calipers not being a thing this run. Claws back over and over again. These holograms are also themselves essentially reinforced bodies. Since we can hologram for hologram as many times as we want, as much as we, as long as we have energy for just a absolute metric ton of block. Really, really, really. 
Oh. Barrier's okay. We already have one, though. We don't need more. Rebound could have been nice with Unceasing Top. Gremlin Horn is quite skippable here. You're a, a real relic, please. Well, we tried. Plus 12 is exactly 30, so I don't need to EQ here. Ticket overclock plus the burns would murder me. Or max HP is good. When this deck had three hit points against Guardian, I remember. Good times. By good times, I mean those were horrible times. Made it out alive. But mattered. Bottled Lightning allows me to have a Seek in my opening hand, which is pretty good. We could also bottle Aggregate, which is kind of its own unique good. Amplify here could let me dupe the buffer or the machine learning or whatever creative AI spits out. Feels like we don't need to do that, though. Yeah, Seek also just gets us Aggregate, although it does have a couple less cards in the draw pile that way. But it's still surely, uh, surely better to go with a Bottled Seek here. Like this, let's just go... Show me, um, Double Orb Walkers or something. Tesseract is great, we can skip all the cards, and we have, um, Ceramic Fish Toxic Eggs, so, like, some of this has to be good. I have Weaken currently would help a lot. Ooh, purity. Yeah, I like purity a lot. I'll stick to five cards in my hand. Might if I do.
Then later, creative AI. I don't want mayhem. Mayhem could be bad for a lot of reasons. Against like time eater or something. Strength index, anyone? Thirteen strength, fifteen dex, or er, thirteen dex, fifteen strength on turn one. Too bad. We have enough claws. Thought is useless now. Didn't self repair, but uh, does not matter here. We draw that on turn one. Well, I guess with bottled seek, I'd... well, that's yeah, it's fine. Looks like we've got our work cut out for us, Commander. Jerma! Getting this up with a very generous 100-man raid. Welcome on in, folks! If you don't know Jerma, he does a fair... He's a fair share of A20 Slay the Spire. As well as, I believe, speedruns. Hope your runs went well today, sir. Joining us for some Ascension 20 defect action, we started with a Tekken Calling Bell, giving me Gurya, and we've uh, kind of worked from there into a Claw deck, of all things. Go figure. Okay, let's delete this turbo. Wait, it's here. Yes. Program, hologram, reprogram, hologram, reprogram, hologram, reprogram. That's a lot of strength and dex, my friends. Yes. Doing a sample size of Ironclad right now. Well, good luck to him. Ironclad is probably one of my weakest characters. Looks like I need some help. In your bottom four, same. Big same. Poor ironclad.
All right, perfect Donu and Decafight. We will absolutely stomp Awakened One. What about Time Eater? Did we stomp Time Eater? Not sure. If we're going to win, it's definitely going to need to involve getting set up effectively here. Which means playing um, Reprogram a bunch at the start. Not even going to play the Chill, because it's a, a card play here. Equilibrium. Skim. Equilibrium Skim. And Purity is here, too. Even better. Purging all that will help a lot here. Sure is nice just having uh, access to equilibrium every turn. I'm not even going to bother blocking this. We'll just take it on the buffer. Gee, maybe I will block it. Left again is not my favorite thing to have happen. Feels like we might have wanted to get a little bit more energy to start this fight, but overall this is about where we want to be. It's good. I'd say this is grand.
Ultimately, still a perfect time meter fight. GG. Two thump, two thump, two thump, a deep, angry dread to be felt throughout the room is this. What? Spire the source of these claws. A claw. A claw. For damage. Let's upgrade the block. Tables would have been really nice here. What a fusion. Second copy of Purity is interesting. Scrape is kind of interesting. Draw cards, discard everything that doesn't cost zero. Can afford one more removal. Seven more max HP. A different potion in Tropic Brew, giving me a couple random potions, could be helpful. We can afford fusion and remove cold snap. That's definitely tempting. Go infinite, but we do want more energy. Yeah, I really like a uh, fusion and remove cold snap here. Going into these last couple of fights. Now these stinky burns on top of the deck are going to be a real problem for us. But with turn one, seek. Suspect we'll be okay. Double hologram here. Good. Getting to hold on to this stuff. Very grand. Give me plenty of block on this turn. Just never end your turn. It's that easy. body is going to be good here. We've got Penib charged. Let's grab one more claw here. Full block. 122. Seems good. Oh no, my focus. How disastrous. Small attack. This turn could be bad. Not we're good. Well, this fight, the Tornithopter will heal us when we use a hot ion, charge battery, and reinforced. Both pretty decent here. Let's take more max HP. It's small at 32. It's not exactly small, but get the idea. All right, Mr. Hart. <clears throat> Let's see what we can do here.
like that we got Equilibrium turn one. Very much like that we got that. Let's go. Reap. Let's actually start doing the fusion thing. Lots of energy here. Card draw here. Totally okay taking a bit of Beat of Death to allow us to draw three more cards. Seventeen energy, gonna be more than that. Might be our speed pot turn, depending on if we can draw reinforced or uh, buffer. Those are our outs for this hit. If outs. Is I can't tell if I'm gonna speed potion until it's too late. No, this will be a good. Okay. Let's... Okay, that's definitely our purity. We get rid of wound and burn. We can also get rid of self repair and chill at the same time. Cards I no longer want to have. And one of these turbos. I don't think I need two. One, two, three, four, five. Get rid of all that. Perfect. Make sure we don't draw this again. And honestly... your own reinforced body. We have a, reinf a real reinforced body on this turn. Questionable draw pile. better. 
Same deal here, I'm just gonna hologram holograms for block. I guess I should kunai before I do that. A little bit of damage here. I'll actually use the draw potion now. Damage cap very nearly hit. Build our own runic pyramid. Easy peasy. How much block? 20? Not a block, man. Easy peasy. GG, Mr. Hart. That was a sweet run! Hey, hey everyone! Thanks so much for watching! Did you know that I'm live five days a week on Twitch? Come join us to watch me live, ask questions, or chill with the community. Click the link in the description below to follow and be notified when I'm live. And while you're down there, make like a sandwich and sub to this channel for more fresh Baylor content. Ta-ta for now!